Turning now to business news, government workers brace for more missed pay and a winter vacation home for just $1. Diane King Hall has the details in today's Money Watch report. U.S. stocks closed higher yesterday following reports that Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin might support removing some or all tariffs on Chinese imports. The Dow rallied 162 points and the Nasdaq gained 49. With the government shut down in its 28th day, workers are bracing for more missed paychecks. About 800,000 federal employees started missing checks on January 11th, forcing many to try to find other ways to pay for crucial needs like food, gas and shelter. The next round of missed paychecks would be next Friday. The parent company of K Jewelers has been slapped with an $11 million penalty. The jeweler was accused of tricking consumers into enrolling in store credit cards. The company said to have required employees to make quotas for store cards. To reach those goals, employees asked customers for their personal information, allegedly for discount programs, and then signed them up for credit cards. And a town in Italy is selling dozens of houses for one euro or a little over a dollar. Sambuca, a hilltop town in Sicily, features views of the ocean and nearby beaches. The community has suffered from depopulation as many residents choose to move to bigger cities. The dollar deal is an attempt to rebuild the town. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall.